In the village of Strells, it's a fine summer's day for a wedding. But for the Albanians of Kosovo, even weddings have become occasions for an expression of national feeling. While the village women gather to shower the bride with gifts, the men of the two households come together in a nearby field. The groom's relatives are greeted with elaborate hospitality. Even their shoes are turned back in the right direction. We were invited to join the celebrations as two large local clans were united by the marriage. An important day for a people who consider their very existence is under threat. The prospects uh, of conflicts in Kosovo are quite realistic because you have a Serbian, uh, a Serbian iron fist regime who want to get Albanians to get down on their knees and accept an inferior status to, the, uh, to Serbs want Albanians to be citizens uh, of, a, uh, of a second or third degree, who want Albanians to be subjects of their colonial rule from Belgrade. Of course, uh, Albanians uh, do not and cannot accept that because uh, that endangers their very existence. I am absolutely convinced that the Albanian people at large uh, will not want a war to satisfy the calls of their leaders for independence. But if anything, Serbian rule has hardened the desire for independence amongst ordinary Albanians. At the wedding, we were taken into the traditional men's room to meet the bridegroom, Adrian Pavate. These men here are all friends or relatives of his father, who was beaten and killed in Serbian police custody in 1992. Adrian has been living in exile ever since and was spirited back into the country for his wedding. We would find that Serbia's secretive repression in Kosovo has created martyrs in many Albanian families. It's hard to imagine war coming here and destroying these communities, but Bosnia was once a place like this proud of its long traditions. For these are the things that bind ethnic communities together. Here amongst her friends in their short dresses and makeup, all the trappings of modernity, the bride must wear her bleak expression by long convention. Her eyes should be cast down, her attitude must remain submissive for she is about to be stolen from her household by old men from the groom's family. The tears are probably real since this dutiful Muslim daughter has submitted to an arranged marriage to someone she's met only once. None of the modern young women we spoke to here could find fault with the arrangement. They regard marriage and child rearing as a kind of national duty. I respect uh, my nation and I like uh, my family, my children to be Albanians, clear Albanians, not mixed with some other nation.
Intermarriage with other ethnic groups is almost unknown. And while in most other societies young people are drifting away from traditions, here the ties are getting stronger. And by a supreme irony, the main factor causing that is Serbian repression. So here the portrait of the groom's murdered father was displayed alongside the new couple, as if the marriage itself were an act of revenge. The father, Haki Pavate, had been the regional director of education. His crime was that he was running schools for Albanians, teaching them in their own language. For that, he was beaten to death. Then the family say they realized his neck was broken. Every kind of, uh, of uh, torture is, uh, is present in Serbian uh, prisons uh, uh, nowadays, and that we've had uh, several Albanians who have uh, died in prison uh, due to torture. It was Slobodan Milosevic who aroused the dormant Serbian passions for this landlocked southern province as a prelude to annexing it. Enclosed within these mountains are many of the sacred sites of the Serbian people. Here are some of the oldest and most beautiful of the Serbian Orthodox churches, like the Monastery of the Pech Patriarch. It was built in the 14th century as one of the furthest outposts of Christianity, at a time when the Ottoman Turks were pressing on the region. Many Serbs today think their people are still the last bastion against Islam. And there are plenty of images in the frescoes here to remind them of the brutality of the Turks towards Christian martyrs. Historically and emotionally, uh, Kosovo and Metohija is the cradle of Serbian civilization. Kosovo is central to our conscience of what we are today, of our identity as a Serbian nation. We can't imagine the Serbs, and here I am a Serb, I cannot imagine uh, my own definition of what I am as a Serb without having that reference, and that is Kosovo. Mirma Trikovic is the manager of this collective farm and he told us no Serbian manager would dare visit his workers without a case of beer. In the late 1980s, Trikovic was the deputy president of Serbia, and now he's the leader of the Serbian resistance movement in Kosovo. To demonstrate Serbia's historical claims, he took us to another church known as Gracanica, built to honor Serb martyrs decapitated on the field of the Blackbirds in 1389 by the invading Turks. Serbia, he was suggesting, remembered its oldest lessons. 
tvrdoglavo insistiranje Albanaca na novoj drbanskoj državi, na ovim srpskim prostorima, ne znači ništa drugo nego vođenje karatu, odnosno što se tiče nas samih na unutrašnjem planu, mi smo dovoljno jaki da damo odgovor Albanci. There are close to two million Albanians here, most of them Muslim. They make up about 90% of Kosovo's population. The remaining 10% are mostly Serbs. Until 1990, the majority Albanians ran the government and most of the institutions. Kosovo was autonomous, a de facto republic in the old federal Yugoslavia. But in 1990, President Milosevic sent in the Yugoslav army. Security forces overran key institutions like the television and radio stations. And from the parliament to the schools, Albanians were thrown out of office and out of their jobs. The Albanians have continued to elect their own leaders, who, like Deputy President Ajani, are not recognised by Serbia. In 1990, Up until now, the Albanian leaders have opted for passive resistance. Instead of directly confronting Milosevic, they tried to live outside of Serbian rule by setting up their own parallel institutions, including a free medical service. The director, Dr. Ghani Dimoli, says the shadow health system began as an emergency measure when Albanians were thrown out of their jobs and lost access to health care. None of the staff are paid. In fact, outside of Kosovo, their qualifications are not even recognized. It's too hard now. It's three years. We work here without money. But I don't want to go any place, another place. I want to work here. Do you think you're, you're doing something for your people? Yes, of course. We for think and we do that all the time. Because <laughs> we are human. We want to help people, my people first. In a suburb of Pristina, Kosovo's largest city, young Albanian law students wait to face their end-of-year exams. The Albanians run their own university and schools with classes in these residential houses. For seven years, Kosovo's Albanians have tried to live inside their imaginary state. But frustrations are growing. So how long do you think the Albanian people will put up with passive resistance? If Albanians continue to be kept in an apartheid-like uh, system in Kosovo by the Serbian colonial rulers, uh, it, it is inevitable that the situation will be radicalized. We but do you really believe that you can have independence for Kosovo without conflict? In the past year, a shadowy new group, known as the Kosovo Liberation Army, has claimed responsibility for a series of bombings and assassinations. Though some Albanians believe the attacks were organized by Serbian secret police. In the outskirts of Pristina, we met two Albanian brothers who'd been accused of being members of the Liberation Army. 
Pronto, senhor. On the 27th of January this year, Dula Salahu and his younger brother Emin were dragged from their beds by heavily armed Serb police and taken off to interrogation cells. Kerkonin preme kui kam chef armet. Kerkonin preme se mos jam do ni organizat terorise per cilen nuk nuk e disa edhe nuk ishte edhe skam chen kur ni jet. For both brothers torture began immediately. Edhe gjitha mnyra tjera grushta skelma to mos dalu as ni ven vital n organizum. Shto po thon bile kan tentue n organet genitale nese keni mundsita per silni ku shumë herë edhe në Gjikoski e mund të themi këte për asyuse në ka shumë kesh para një opinionit më nëshëm dhe tjashtën të themi të. Dua të pëtensoj se është përdor edhe shufra elektrike. Pastaj është përdor maska ushtarake që la përdorët në ushtri më është vënë në kokë. Do të themë se deri në arrestimin tim s'kom përjetu asë njerë a Livanosje, gjatë tërturave kom përjetu disa herë a Livanosje. Po ashtu ju në përdorë mjetet të ndryshme e në kastë të prëdhura për tërturat, ndryshme si kablat të ndryshme të cilat e kam pas të ndryturë, po sa qërisht me kap në dorë. After being brutalized for more than 12 hours, they say they were forced to sign their names to a blank sheet. Mirë për përshkak, se ishte në pyti o vdekja, o me thonë një fjallë, cilën për cilën asë nuk e din fare. Për arë syu se nuk ashtë gjatëve të maja tërtur që e përshkrujtja. Ne ishëm në gjendje kur asë më ishëm qëndroni më kom, për arë syu se i kishëm kom të lëmë. Dula was sentenced to five years jail, MN to two and a half. But there's so little evidence against them, they were freed pending an appeal and took a considerable risk talking to us. Levizjes komtare për shërimin e Kosovës, po. Ato e kemi pranuë. Për arsyë se gjdo shqiptarë i cili të merët, pa marë për arsyësh edhe në rrugë, cilin do të amarin, aj, ato të njëtë atë fjallë kështë e me i thonë. Që aty është e sinësa, lirë është mund tja për këtë një këtë. What would happen if they did rise up against Serbia? What would happen to them? <laughs> what would happen uh, uh, to the people if they uh, rose up against the United States uh, in Harlem? I don't know. You tell me. What would, happen? Country, what would, country, what would happen to the Albanians in Kosovo? Uh, the, country, the country has to defend itself. The underlying message from Serbia has always been clear. If you dare to resist, you will be crushed. But bitter experience in the Balkans tells us that the most dangerous moment arrives when all sides accept the inevitability of conflict. That moment has not arrived in Kosovo yet. But without a radical shift in direction, it is not far off.